What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be ranking every single USP that exists in Counter-Strike right now. And we're going to be inspecting in CS2 like this. As I said in every video right now, I think it makes more sense to inspect like this in CS2 instead of going into an actual like inspect server where I can like run around with it in CSGO. Mainly because we want to look and see how this new lighting is. So, hope you guys enjoy it. If you do, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button around here and let's go right into it. So there's 36 different USP skins in total if you include the default and in 36 I'm going to have the Pathfinder. I expected every single one of these skins in CS2 ahead of building this list and this is just incredibly lackluster and looks horrible. So unfortunately it fills our bottom spot. And then just above it we have the default skin. The default skins did get a big upgrade in CS2 but they're still not. In, but when you still compare them to like a skin you can pay money for it's always going to fall that little bit short. The Royal Blue is up next and this is honestly looking more purple than Royal Blue and the wear on it looks terrible and honestly it makes it look like a kid's toy with the finish. As usual a lot of skins like the night ops to find themselves near the bottom or just because they're older skins that aren't crazy designed and when you compare that to what's coming out now with the Source 2 engine they're going to be less favourable. I then have the check engine and we're speaking of checking I mean hit the like button if you think I should get a haircut. This is getting a little bit chaos. Um, hopefully you guys are enjoying it. But yeah, check engine just isn't my cup of tea. It's so much so not my cup of tea, I've actually put the business class ahead of them, which is from the baggage collection. And if I'm honest, a lot of the baggage collection skins I'm not a big fan of, so I'm surprised this one managed to like avoid the bottom three. I put the forest leaves in 30th, and it's not at the very, very bottom, because I think now with for example, we've got Burial Forest knives, very budget friendly, but you can get them in the likes of like Karambits, and then you can get them in Talons as well. So the budget friendly in that regard. Plus then Aboreal Gloves, and then the likes of a Forest Leaves pistol kind of fits into those themes nicely. Then we have the Blood Tiger. This is the gain one that I've just never been a big fan of. I don't think that greyish brown mixes well within the red and the green. The red and the green don't really go together. It's just a bit of a lackluster skin. Ahead of it though, we do actually have the Desert Tactical from the Anubis Collection. This is one that I've featured a few times now in my like really budget brown inventory videos, which I think is a little bit overlooked in regards to the colour theme because you can do some nice stuff. Um, so this is why this one is a little bit higher up the list and sort of cracks in to the top 30s. And then a skin I don't think I've ever seen in game before until now is the Para Green. But for me, this seems like I might have had an upgrade in CS2. I need to go check, but this is a nice sort of green with the black. It's honestly a contrast. It looks quite nice. It does wear a little bit though, but this is very similar to those. We did a, the video looking at the new CS2 skins, or the skins we could see in CS2. This is very similar to those like the Famous and the A1S finishes we were looking at. Then I have the lead conduit. This one definitely seems like it got a bit of an upgrade. Like the detailing on the suppressor is crazy. Like it's this really nice detailing on the suppressor. It's just a shame it doesn't really carry through the rest of the skin. Probably should have given it a trigger warning for this one because this has that weird hole phobia on it, which creeps me out a little bit, but not quite as bad on this one. Orange and Oath, I think that's what it's called. This looks horrible and I know it creeps some people out. We're going to just leave it now. Then at 24th, we have the Guardian. This is a skin I know a lot of people love. I think it's, it's like a classic skin, and that's why people like it. For me, it's just the black and the, the navy, the royal blue kind of vibe. It's nothing really special, but it is clean, and that's why it stands above the others. Now, the overgrowth, I think, is so expensive purely because the Bravo case is so expensive, and it is a purple from the Bravo case. This is actually a nice camo color. It's a little bit different than the Boreal styles we get. I think it's nice. I think we would need to see more gloves, knife conditions, other skins in general that sort of fit this colour palette if we wanted to make this higher up the rankings and it fits into like a theme a bit more. I've actually stuck the stainless quite high up this list. It's in 22nd, a bit higher than I expected at the start, but these like these sort of style of like these silvery skins have a big upgrade on it. Great potential for budget sticker crafts. It is very close to being like a default skin, but that nice shine that it gets in instead is why I've got it higher. Then just above it, we have a Dark Water. Dark Water skins, I continue to think are overrated. I think it's just because the case they're from is why they're so expensive. This is definitely a 21st ranked USP skin. If you're trying to put it in the top 10, I don't know what to say, man. You're, you're just wrong. So much so wrong, I put a Road Rash over it from the Overpass collection. This is one I've always looked at and just not been a big enjoyer of the design. I think it's slightly improved in CS2. It obviously is like a white skin that has a lot of marking on it. This is factory new. This marking is just the road rash design. And then there's obviously like a bullet coming out here. It's a little bit different. And for that, I think it's why it creeps up a bit higher. There are a few guys that enjoy blue inventories. We have the blueprint from the Operation Hyder collection. This is one that's always been a nice skin. But when you compare it to some of the ones you're going to see in the top 10, it's why it just sort of falls down into 19th. One of my favourite budget USPs is the Torque. This is not point not too float, factory new. It looks insane. It looks very nice and very clean for the price you pay for it. White, black, little yellow accents. It's a very well-priced and well-designed skin. 
Now, I've put the serum ahead of it. I think the price of this one is why it's might maybe I put it so high. It's like a slightly better Blood Tiger, but in CS2, it gets the shine. It's probably the shine is why I put it this high. It's an upgrade Blood Tiger with a bit of shine, and that's why it's in 17th. Now, as we get into, we're well under the top half of things now, but this is a Cyrex in 16th. This is a skin that I think, in the pistol anyway, now looks worse in CS2 compared to CSGO, but it is still in the top half of skins. 16th for me. Hopefully, the updates fix this a little bit because the wear on it now just looks very heavy. Now, we kick off the top 15 with the flashback. This is one you guys know I love for budget inventories. I like this sneaky beaky lock and load, the shush on it. I like the born to clutch. Everything like that, I think it's super cool. And I think for the price you pay, it's definitely the 15th best USB skin in Counter-Strike. Then we have some of his other budget-friendly colleagues in here. We have the Black Lotus in 14. The huge fan of this skin. You've seen it in the start and field test it. For my stat track version, which I a big enjoyer of. The purple looks a lot more purple now, I'd say, in CS2 as well. Then we discussed budget skins for USPs. We have to bring up the ticket to hell. This is the 13th best one, in my opinion. It's still super cheap. The wear is a little bit heavier on the back of the skin, so not the play side. Uh, and I still love this detail. And this white detail on the black background is essentially like a reverse of what the print stream is with the black and white contrast as well. Big fan. I'm thinking that the Cayman in 12th. And I know like when you think about maybe this is 12th and it's not crazy flashy. I just like this design of like the, the Cayman. I'm going to call it the Beast of Creature. The A is Cayman. Um... With its eye there, and then just like the scales and the nostril, and then you get to the silencer. I think it's one that with Source 2, we're definitely going to see like a much more in depth version of this, which I think would be amazing. Like, not this particular skin, but concepts like this would be executed so high now with the Source 2 engine, and I'm really excited to see more like that. In 11th place, I've got the Orion. This is one that is very nice. It's one of the few orange or one of the few nice orange USPs you can pick up. It is an 11th, mainly because of price. Um, I think it looks good, but the price you're paying for it is it's like an orange, slightly upgraded version of what the Torque is. So I don't think it's quite top 10 worthy. And I'm actually kicking the top 10 off with the Ancient Visions, a skin I completely, completely overlooked for quite some time until about a month and a half ago when I realized that some of the Paris Holocrafts look insane on this. Uh, it's a little bit pricier. It's from the Ancient Collection, but it, for me, looks super nice. I like the patterns on it. I like the slightly different color palette on it. This is something that I'm a fan of seeing in CS skin, something that's a little bit against the green of just the, the pure red, the pur pure purple, the pure pink, that kind of thing. And it is number 10 for me. Now the target acquirer sneaked its way into ninth for me here, mainly because it's pink, plus it gets this lovely shine in CS2. This is essentially a pink version of like the Deagle Night Heist for me. At least that's how it looks. Um, maybe it's from the same collection or released in a similar time frame or from the same designer. I don't know. But that's the vibe it gives off. But like I say, it's ninth purely because of the shine. Plus it's pink. The actual detail on the skin itself could be improved. We then have the purple DD pack, which is I know one that a lot of people were like were investing in or at least picking up ahead of CS2 because in the very early beta, we saw how crazy the shine looked on this and it has continued. The one thing I will say is with the past like three to four updates, you can see that the wear on it is considerably higher than you would have been able to see in CSGO. That's kind of the only downside. This is a 0.059 factory new float. You kind of have to go factory new and try to get around the 0.03 side of things for it to look pristine. We then go from purple to pink with the Cortex. This one, I mean, if you guys are in the Discord or watch the streams, you know I really like a Cortex. I've had one a couple different times now. I think the... It used to be top five for me. I it's dropped a couple places because it didn't quite get the upgrades I was expecting with CS2. I think the bottom of the skin does look better. This handle grip area... Always looked a little weird and pixelated. I think that's now been fixed. But I would have liked to see this sort of whitish, grayish top get a bit of shine. And even the pink itself get a little bit of shine. So hopefully an update comes along and puts that in. So then I can go back into the top five. And then I think a lot of people would put this in their top five. But I've actually changed it to be in sick now for the Neo Noir. Neo Noir skins in general, I'm an enjoyer of. I've never bought any myself. But I do appreciate what they're about. You get this contrast of the white and black. You get bits of pinks, purples and blues throughout. And they're nice pink, purples and blues as well. So this is definitely very close to being top five. But just not quite. It used to be as well. But the one I've put in number five got a drastic upgrade in CS2. So I'm hoping it stays the same. And that's what's mainly caused this shuffle. Now, I think the top five is pretty consistent across most people you ask. And I'm starting it with the whiteout in number five. Previously, the whiteout for me would have struggled to crack top 10 because it was so hard to get it in a good condition. And like, even in factory new, a high factory new flow, it would be scarred as hell. This is not 0.06. And you can see 
it's almost perfect. It, you know, it is expensive to provide to new, but you can go low minimal wear flow and this still looks clean now, which it just didn't at all. Like I say, you used to have to get the best of the best factory new floats for this to look good. And this is why it's creeped into fifth place. I think if you do the right sticker craft on this, it looks impeccable in game. Another one that's managed to jump into my top five is the Kill Confirmed. When I posted the shorts about this, you guys were shocked I didn't have it in. And now it is in number four. I think this design has always been very strong. But I think with the recent changes and the shuffles of CS2 and everything that comes with it, I'm now an enjoyer of this. It's number four for me. But I think the top three are still insane. In third place, I have the Monster Mashup. I did have a field tested version of this until the Joyous API scam. So I will need to figure out if I want to get another one or if I go down a different route with one of the two that you're going to see in places number one and number two. But I think even a field test that this can look insane. Obviously looking at a factory in here with a not point not not yet float. So really, really clean float here. As I say, this looks good. This bluish green looks very good even in field tested. And I think for that alone, plus how cool the design is, that's why it's third for me. In second place, we have the Treater, which this is the brightness skin. That again, even going to Battle Scarred, looks amazing because it just gets a bit darker. This is factory new 0.04 flow. And I love the design on it. The red and the gold looks like just sort of work really well together. You got these trees with like I'm assuming cherry blossom on it. You got a snake. Like it's just everything ties together so well for the skin. It's exactly what I want. And it's in second place. This with some Fia's golds on it. Or if golds in general, but particularly Fia's golds. It looks looks insane. And then there's an obvious skin I've not mentioned yet. And it's the number one spot for the print stream. Almost any print stream can battle its way to number one in the list or at least top three pretty consistently i think print stream usp for me is definitely the winner as much as i'd probably prefer to buy a traitor or a monster mashup because i think the value for money is a bit better when it comes to pure design if money's no object i think we're all going to pick a stat track factory new print stream for the inventory so that's my entire 36 ranked. I think my top five is pretty solid here. Even my top 10 in general, I think it's pretty solid. And you guys will mostly agree with it. As always, I want to know your top three for this. So let me know your top three USP skins in the description down below to see if it matches with mine. I'll try to reply to every comment you guys put down there because I love discussing skins. I love discussing with you guys. So as I said at the start, hit the like button. Enjoy. Hit the subscribe button if you're new around here. Hopefully you want to, guys want to see more videos like this because I really enjoy doing the ranking assistance. But for now, thank you for watching. We'll catch you in the next one. Goodbye.